Hey, so in a second, um, I mentioned all the things I'm going to be testing in this video. I ended up having to split it in half, just because, well not in half, but I decided to split the video into armor skill stacking effects and just the way the weapons work in general, because the video as a whole was coming to something like uh, 35 or 40 minutes plus and I have to go to work soon. So I thought I'd quickly get this done, uh, upload it and then I'd do the, the weapons later. So in this video I'm just going to be testing the armor skills, things like resentment, latent power, divine blessing, uh, recovery up, that, that kind of thing. And then the coming video, uh, hopefully soon after this one, will contain how all the weapons work. Things like the uh, the claw attacks, the eye slash, the charge blade files, all that junk. Anyway, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, enjoy the Hello video. Hello again, it's Cons, and if you remember from the previous video, I did a quick summary of the Safi Jiva set bonus and how it worked and what the numbers were and all that. And had a lot of people asking various questions about how it stacked with other skills and certain types of attacks. So I'm going to be answering those all today. You can see I have the Savage Eva set open. Uh, I'll list out what I'm going to be testing in a second, but I'll just run the first test quickly. The first thing people were interested in is whether or not it can heal... Oh, shoot. <laughs> whether or not it can heal red, a non-red damage. So I'm just going to do that. Three, four, five. As you can see, it's healed beyond the red bar, so it definitely can heal non-red damage. Okay, so the things I'm going to be testing at least on my list currently, I'm going to probably add on to this as people ask more questions. Going to be testing skills like Recovery Up, Resentment, Latent Power, Divine Blessing, the set bonus with Valhazak. I'm going to be testing whether or not the Clutch Claws counts as a sheathing. I'm going to be testing whether or not the uh, EI Slash counts as sheathing. I'm going to be looking at uh, the Savage Axe and the Files on Charge Blade, looking at the Switch Axe Discharge Attacks. Um, gun launch shelling, piss and spread on the bows and bow guns, the echo note and melodies and songs with the hunting horn, the helmbreaker slash with longsword, whether kinsect hits work, um, and whether it stacks with the two piece Namiel set bonus and the vitality mental, how it interacts with that. There you go. There's a good, there's a good summary. So if there are any questions on there that, that, uh, appeal to you, uh, do stick around. I'll hopefully get around to answering them. So as you can see, I've just tested uh, sort of how much health you heal, and this is the recovery with 9 hits worth of, uh, of red damage and then a single heal. I'm now going to test, test it with the recovery up and see if that number goes up at all. So yeah, we have 3 points of recovery up, just going to heal back to full. Oh, I would have been there anyway. So we'll do the same thing we did before. 4 hits, a sheath, and then 5 hits and see how much health we recover. As you can see, recovery up does indeed affect how much health you recover from the uh, from the recovery period. So that's confirmed. We are now going to test resentment. I've put three points of critical draw to guarantee me the crit, and I'm just going to see how much my attacks do on damage uh, on average from close range. 436, guaranteeing the crit just makes it more convenient, so I don't have to like repeat tests. 423 and 436. Okay, so those are the two numbers we get. Jake Great sort has some weird range mechanics. So as you can see, same set, but now with five points of resentment. Let's see. 436. Now, interestingly, the first attack, while I was at full health, didn't actually gain anything, which is what you'd expect. But now, we would hope that later attacks give us a damage boost. Uh, and indeed, they do. Perfect. So we see the resentment does indeed work, and this is kind of obvious, there was no reason to suspect it doesn't. However, now what we're going to test is whether or not that still applies with health orb. But yeah, after your attack, if you heal up straight to full, what you'll notice is that there is no resentment bonus, and it's kind of as you'd expect it. It makes a lot more sense with Greatsword when you're sheathing in the middle, however it's the same with, for example, Insect Glaive in the middle of a flurry of combos. If you have enough health augment to fully restore your health at any point, and lose the red bar, it no longer gives you the damage bonus. There isn't any sort of cooldown on it. It instantly removes the ability from you. So if you are going, if you are planning on using Resentment, make sure you don't have too much health augment. So keep that in mind. Resentment does, it works exactly as you'd expect, but I thought I should get it confirmed on camera. Um, resentment does work. However, you have to make sure you don't have too much health augment. Otherwise you'll heal up to full and not be able to reap the so benefits. We are now going to test Latent Power. Uh, I'll quickly show you the skill description just in case you're unfamiliar with it. Um, when you've met certain conditions, which is a little bit vague, you get an increased stamina and a reduced stamina, uh, increased affinity and reduced stamina depletion. The conditions, at least in the old games, were a time limit and also a certain amount of damage taken. So the test here is whether or not the damage that you take from here counts towards the latent power. So we'll see. Hit procs. 
And there you go, the skill latent power has activated. And you can see our affinity has gone up from 50% to 90%. If I unsheath, we go down to 50%. And if you remember, the base affinity was 10%. 40 is coming from latent power, and 40 is coming from the set bonus when I unsheath. Hopefully that makes sense. So latent power does indeed work. Just takes a while to activate it. I'm not sure this is going to be particularly useful. However, the decreased stamina usage is quite nice. As you can see, my stamina is going down really slowly. Not entirely sure how latent power stacks with any of the other stamina reducing skills. Uh, however, that's probably a question for another video. The next thing I wanted to show is that, um, just generally speaking, while you have your weapon unsheathed, you can see my health is slowly but surely recovering. However, if I equip the Savage Eva armor set, get the set bonus going, and then unsheathe my weapon, the natural health recovery stops. That's just sort of a natural part of the armor set, uh, of the set bonus. That stops. And so my question is, does that work with the Valhazak 2p set bonus? So now as you can see, we have Super Recovery and Dragon Vein Awakening. Super Recovery allows you to um, exceed the red portion of your health gauge. I know it doesn't sound like it would interact, but I thought it'd be worth testing anyway while I'm here. So let's just check. Oh, and as you can see, our health does indeed recover with our weapon drawn. And just again, to just to get to lower health so I can sort of demonstrate. You can see, it's uh, my health is slowly but surely recovering, even as I attack and lose health. Oh, so Valhazak set bonus does indeed stack with it. That's kind of interesting, I didn't really expect it to. Um, <laughs> I guess it's just a, a side effect of the way they programmed it in the back end. Oh, cool. Okay, so we now have Divine Blessing on our set. We have, uh, oh, we also have Health Boost. Anyway, we have Divine Blessing on our set. Um, we have gold, two-piece Gold Rathian just to increase the chances even more. Um, skill becomes easier to activate. We don't have the actual probabilities of, pro of activating it. Uh, I was planning on working on a video doing that and how it stacks with defense augments, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested, but that's 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 a long time coming. But we'll just see if our health, um, if, if it procs for any of our hits. Uh, I'm fairly certain it doesn't. At this point, we would have activated it by now. However, I'll keep testing for a bit just to make sure we're 100% certain. Yeah, so I can confirm it doesn't seem like Divine Blessing um, reduces the damage you take from this set bonus's negative effect. Let's see if the two-piece Namiel set bonus stacks. So for anybody unaware, um, Element Acceleration activates free element and also elemental damage up as you attack a thing repeatedly. So our element is at 270. When we unsheathe, our element is at 350 because we only have the two-piece, the three-piece set bonus of, uh, of Safi, of course. So now let's see once element activation uh, activates if it goes up to above 350. Yep, 410. Okay, so it does stack. Went up by 60. I think it's 60 and 90, but maybe those numbers off. I don't know. But yeah, it does seem to stack. Okay, so two-piece Namiel stacks. The last thing to be tested is the Vitality Mantle. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of damage before equipping the Mantle and then get rid of it as red health just so it's easy to see. All right, so Vitality Mantle. Boom. Now let's see. Okay, so I don't seem to be taking damage. The question is, will I heal? Yes. Okay, so I do heal. And now the question is, can I outrun the, um, the... Can I run out of Vitality Mantle? I have no clue how long Vitality Mantle lasts, by the way. Okay, it seems to be running out. I assume that's because I'm taking damage. Okay. I've never used the Vitality Mantle before. Maybe that's just how it always works. Maybe there's a time limit. You guys will have to let me know. But it does, it does at least if it works the way I think it works, then yeah, you, the Vitality Mantle, um, all the damage that you take from self-harm goes towards damaging the Vitality Mantle, but you can still heal yourself as normal, and then the Vitality Mantle just sort of runs out as you keep attacking. Hopefully that makes sense. As mentioned before, I'm gonna cut the video off here and I'll bring you the rest of the stuff, all the way that the weapons work uh, in the next video. Um, sorry about that, it was just getting way too long and I genuinely really have to go to work. I'm recording this and then gonna throw it in, press render and then run out the door. So, uh, goodbye. Also, everybody vote Labour.